Professor Fumilola Adefu Folalu has been buried in Niger State. Sunday, the 19th of October, will make it exactly uh, four weeks she was murdered by three teenagers. Two of them are still at large. Correspondent Chenemi Bamiyi reports. A loss that shook most Nigerians. Although it is appointed for everyone to die, most people believe Professor Fumilola did not deserve to die a vicious death. Nothing can erase the heart, but a proper investigation into her killing might rekindle some hope of a better society. At the Tabernacle of Mercy Chapel, where her body lay in state, it was the last moment for her family to say their final word. Pastor Ojo Peters, who gave a brief exaltation, said, Death is only a way to life. While they remember the dead, it is time for the living to prepare for eternity. Dr. Fumilola Sharifat Adifolalu was born on the 12th September 1967 in Shaki West Local Council of Oyo State. In November 2005, she joined the Federal University of Technology, MENA, as an assistant lecturer in the Department of Biochemistry. Her husband, Professor Oladele Adifolalu, who lectures in the same university at that time, passed on in January 2014. As her remains was taken to the grave, a long gratiny of mourners escorted her body to be buried in the Christian cemetery in MENA. Before she was gruesomely murdered, she was an associate professor involved in an ongoing funded research at the African Center of Excellence of mycotoxin and food safety in F.E.T. Mina. She published over 30 articles in both local and international journals and presented at several national and international conferences. Her legacy as a devoted Christian, her unwavering kindness, genuine compassion and a radiant spirit are some of the qualities that describes her. The remains of Professor Fumilola Defolalu has finally been laid to rest amid tears from her family members and colleagues that gathered at her grave site. <laughs> it's four weeks after this unplanned homicide was committed by three teenagers. The main suspect, a 14-year-old, has been arrested. There are still calls to the Nigerian police to ensure that the other two suspects are apprehended, noting that these are just teenagers and arresting them shouldn't take so long. Chenemibami, TVC News, Mina.